There's something deep inside most of us young people that like our music loud, our parties hard, and our souls free. To an extent, I believe this wild heart has always been a part of youth. It's the beauty of our innocence and our passion to discover uncharted territory. God warns us, however, against the part of our spirit that leads us into rebellion against Him. 2 Timothy 2 says, Flee the evil desires of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Every generation has its battles. Our generation, the millennials, are trying to survive in a day and age where the moral handbook has been officially thrown out the window. With the help of constantly changing culture and advancements in media, our innocence has been replaced with unlimited access to an increasingly provocative world. Every kind of evil is at our fingertips, only one touch, click, or dial away. But what I have found far worse than the new innovative temptations we face is the way that culture's expectations for young people have plummeted. Anyone ages 13 to 25 are practically expected to be rebellious, uncontrollable, and even foolish. This condescending stereotype hangs over our heads, but instead of feeling upset that we've been belittled like this, many seem to have bought into it. This stereotype becomes an excuse to live recklessly. In previous generations, young people were held to a much higher standard. They were expected to carry themselves in a respectable way, honor their elders, learn a trade, and do the work of an adult. I was personally shocked to learn that the word teenager didn't even exist until the 1940s. It seems this new word has almost created a new season that comes with the connotation of being troubled, aimless, and even hopeless. God wants to rescue us from this degrading mindset that tells us that what we do as young people doesn't really matter. He wants to breathe purpose and value into our life that we never even knew we had. I believe that the Lord is crying out to us saying, wake up generation, I've created you for more than this. If you're tired of living a mediocre life, it's because you're not supposed to be living one. You were created for more. 1 Timothy 4.12 says, Don't let anyone look down on you because you're young, but set an example for believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. God went out of His way to address these low expectations by specifically telling us not to let anyone expect less from us because of our age. We don't have to wait until our midlife crisis to find our calling and get things together. In fact, we can't. God is calling us now at exactly the place we're in for a breathtaking purpose. We don't have time to be limited by age. What's a number have to do with it anyway?